Bleeding for Truth, back again with another one, and I was sitting around and searching around for things that might be interesting, and I decided to look up my favorite television writer, Kurt Sutter, to see what he's up to. Those of you that have been following the channel or following Kurt Sutter himself, you may be a fan, you may know that FX and Disney, more importantly, just recently let him go. He is off the Mayans show, and he is no longer employed. So I wanted to see what he was up to. And I come across this movie, Kurt Sutter, acting role, Chaos Walking. I thought, what the heck is Chaos Walking? So I decided to take a look around. Turns out, this movie also has Tom Holland starring in it. Recently... For those that have been following the channel, I was mentioning Tom Holland on a video throughout a long video that has recently gotten pulled off my channel. But, ironic as it may be, turns out Kurt Sutter is playing one of Tom Holland's fathers in this movie. And I also see it's a sci-fi movie based on books, a novel that was written in 2008, and I'm thinking, wow, interesting. And then I look around and I see who else is in it. And this is hysterical, because why isn't it? Daisy Ridley. This is what I see. Daisy Ridley as Viola Eid, a woman without noise who is the key to unlocking secrets for the new world. Of course she's the key to unlocking secrets. She's the key to everything. Because it's 2020. Well, I should say it's post-2016 in America. Of course, she's the key to everything. But listen, getting back to it. Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley, Kurt Sutter. I'm looking at this and I'm going, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing this. Wouldn't mind seeing this crew in a sci-fi film. It turns out this movie... And again, I know nothing about this. I know nothing about the books. So if you happen to stumble upon this video and you know something about the books, you've read them, let me know down in the comments. Is it worth it? Is it good? I know it's... The only thing I know about it is it's basically young adult. And I think Lionsgate acquired this, the film rights to this, because it was supposed to be a trilogy. And I think they were after cashing in on The Hunger Games. So I'm not opposed... I'm not totally opposed to reading uh, Young Adult, but I would rather see them in movies, okay? Because you don't know what you're going to get. You could get Hunger Games, which would be fine, but you could also get Twilight, which I am not a fan of. So <laughs> it, it all depends. But let me know down in the comments if you've read them and if they're good, if they're worth the time. But I'm looking at this, and apparently it was everything was announced 2017 and 2018. The film got really bad test screenings. They ordered reshoots. There was something with Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley because they aged in the two years. So when they came back to do the reshoots, maybe something happened there where it wasn't... They didn't know what to do because they looked older. I don't know. I think Tom Holland looks young anyway. You know, maybe it was a Daisy Ridley thing. I don't know. However, it last thing I said, it, it's there's no official release date. And I also saw somewhere on YouTube, can't remember. I would cite it if I could, but I can't remember where I saw it, whose channel it was, that it was this movie is unreleasable or deemed unre, unreleasable by the studio. I don't know. I just thought I would throw this out there and let everybody know. It was just interesting. I was on a Tom Holland kick. Kurt Sutter, obviously Daisy Ridley, and I thought, what the heck? Might as well let people know about this. If you know anything about this movie, if you know anything about the books, if you don't know anything about it, but you would be interested, let me know down in the comments. I really think this could be a cool movie, especially, you know, I'm a Kurt Sutter fan. So let me know down in the comments. Like the video, like it, subscribe, consider, comment. Thank you for now. Chaos Walking, Blading for Truth.